guys, it's Kirgle again with another ROM review and this time I've got Archie Droid version 1.7.7 and this video is more of an update to my previous video for the 1.7.3 version which well if you have been following me for a bit of time you will know that Archie Droid is probably my favorite ROM for Galaxy S3 which is talk based. Uh, why? It's freaking fast. I, I have to say it's really fast. It is an overclock ROM, but it does have a lot of fast things into it. It does have the Havinged engine and stuff like that, and so it's freaking fast. <laughs> Just let's get that out of the way. Now, uh, what are the changes in the version 1.7.7, the latest one? So uh, it does have a lot of uh, customization ability included. It does have an option, and uh, well, let's get into the ROM first. Um, here is the lock screen which is the uh, S3 lock screen but uh, what I have enabled now is the light effect it does have light effect so that is something which I really liked uh, so you can see the light effect is there it does have watercolor effect all and it does have the uh, um, the ink ripple effect also so that is pretty good uh, what else does this have? You can see the theme is changed. It is not the stock theme or the AOSP. Previously, the ROM used to offer two themes, which was AOSP theme and the stock theme. Now, there is another theme available that's called the blue theme, which is this one. You can see the transparent-ish uh, notification drawer and everything blue AOSP icons. So, that is the blue theme. Uh, everything seems to be changed in that way. And it also has a lock button here which is pretty good I'm enabling the Bluetooth you do have a lock button there so that is good now um, you can see the launcher is Nova launcher so that it hasn't changed so that is pretty good but it isn't necessarily bad Nova launcher is pretty good you do have the option in the aroma launcher to select uh, Nova launcher or cust or the stock touches launcher so let's get into settings now in the about phone page you can see it is 4.3 it is based on l4 that is xxugm l4 version so you can see 1.7.7 stable version uh, uh se4 android status is turned off you can see the theme is blue theme version 3.1 i guess you can use get this theme in the uh the forums and just flash it over any rom but it comes with it so that is pretty cool um, what else does this have now rest of the settings are similar to what you would expect from a stock based ROM but there is a extra feature called ROM control which is a new one you can see you can select the clock style the cool tool has, is actually blocking the clock right now but I do have the center clock enabled but you can also have left clock AM PM style indicator uh, small or large whatever you want regular um, day of week indicator small regular or regular clock color you can select all of these uh, icon style that is battery icon but as of now uh, the one I'm exposed has the circle uh, battery enabled that's why it is showing circle but you can have icon stock uh, all of these Zor circle or whatever so you can see that it is there so that is pretty damn good so you do have all this option also it does have battery bar styles so battery bar can be enabled regular you, you have to enable that beforehand uh, two or three whatever so enable battery bar yes uh, you can you need to show that first you can see the battery bar is in there blue so you do have that uh, full battery notification enable or disable low battery notification enable or disable show traffic meter you can have traffic meter there so it is showing there you can see zero bps so that is there show lock button so you can have lock button shown here or you can just hide it there so that you can have a more stockish feel so that's available uh, screen of animation one of my gripes about stock rom is that screen of animation was uh, available as um, the crt animation or just off it does have fade animation so that's something which i really appreciate you can see the fade animation so that is there uh, built into the ROM so that is good um, rest of them are similar so let me show you guys the lock screen effect you can do have watercolor effect which is probably my favorite one right now second to second to the glare uh, the flare effect so yeah it does have that 
that is pretty good um uh, rest of them similar to what you would expect it does have one handed operation mode but that doesn't really work for me yo it does so that is good this is the first time i've actually used this and it worked so that is uh, a1 for it so it does have a uh, one screen operation but i'm sh i'm sure you don't need it in any way or shape or form so but it is there so you can have that uh, let me show you guys the aroma package because there is a lot of customization there So I am now installing the Archidroid the first one which you saw is the Archidroid legacy boot animation The second picture you saw is the Archidroid boot animation So I'm just going to get that out of the way so you can see it is version 1.7.7 January 25th So that is the date you have language selection here first page uh, change log yeah 1.7.7 is supposed to be a huge change of uh, thing, so that is pretty good. Uh, really great. You do have a lot of options here. Change log. Now terms of use. No one reads that. Again, third party terms and uses. I understand and fully respect that. Yes. Now, custom. Okay, you have presets before you install the ROM. You have custom, previous preset, or bare bones. If you are uh, kind of reinstalling a few things you can just go for previous preset so that it doesn't install everything so yeah that is available custom you have kernel preferences uh, you have Bifla kernel yang kernel uh, googie max devil kernel and stock now googie max and this one both of them have uh, dual boot so if you are using dual boot you if you need to use dual boot you can use that Bifla is probably my favorite one because it gives you a lot of performance gain and yeah, here is the theme option. You have blue theme, AOSP theme, and stock theme. So that is good. DPI setting. The DPI setting which I was using previously was actually 280 DPI, which is kind of a nice balance between 240 and 320. 320 is the stock one, so you can go for that. Nova, now we have the launcher selection, Nova launcher, stock launcher, and no launcher at all. If you have, if you are planning to flash another launcher, you do have that. Uh, touchpad keyboard. Now keyboard option also, you have touchpad. Hackers keyboard both of them stock Samsung which I really don't uh, appreciate much or no keyboard at all now this is the boot animation section uh, Archidroid Archidroid legacy Samsung normal or no boot, boot animation at all uh, I previous I actually preferred the Archidroid legacy with the uh, bar which was the first image which you saw when the um, aroma package loaded so I really like that animation because that well it's just a personal state personal taste you have all these extra apps, Titanium Backup, Greenify, LMT, LMT Pi Controls, uh, all of these also, so you can install that if you want to. Now this is the Blotware installation page, so you can install all of these Blotwares if you want to. Uh, you just need to tick everything and you can install all of that, so yes next now uh, I have selected boy flow kernel so I have a few presets available you have Archiroid performance which I personally use power save and ultra power save in ultra power save you really really get a huge amount of juice out of your phone so if you want the stock ROM for the battery saving features you can go for this ROM and with the ultra power save feature it's just a no-brainer so you can have that so that's pretty cool I'm going to go with performance because battery huh, it's not much of a deal for me Let's go next. You have exposed modules. You can install app setting, which is used to change the DPI setting. If you are using a other DPI setting than 320 DPI, you may need this to set the DPI for each app if you are restoring from a titanium backup file. So yeah, uh, X privacy is used to prevent private data, restrict access, and uh, more. Exposed exposed one of one of exposed is just well it's hold hold together another level it has a lot of customization features so i'm not going to get too much into that next you do have build out bob tweaks you can have a uh, fast dormancy disabled so until untick to disable fast dormancy so it will uh, improve the battery life if you are in a region which if you are on a carrier which does not uh, support fast dormancy so you can have that i normally leave it unticked you can have navigation bar if you want it. Uh, you have to take it in the remove installer also. So that is it. Next. Okay. So I have already installed the Archidroid. So it is showing me that I already have it. So I can update it. No, I, I'm not going to install this because 
I've already installed it. So I'll show you guys the Undo the Benchmark, which is quite awesome. So here is that animation, boot animation, which I was talking about, which is actually Droid Legacy boot animation, which, well, is preferably mine. I prefer this one rather than the other one. And yeah, something which I wanted to notify is that the first time you are uh, running this, like after flashing the ROM, the first time it will have it will run a script called Archidroid Backend, which is which actually um, makes everything run smooth. So it will make the phone restart restart uh, just as you are entering into the phone. So don't freak out; it's normal. So let me show you guys the end to the benchmark, which is phenomenal. Um, well, it is with Archidroid performance, so yeah, you can see it is 21,640. That is phenomenal, yes. But in the defense of the ROM, it uses a custom Bayufla preference because, well, it is an uh, overclocked one. It uses the clock speed of 1600 megahertz and it uses Governor Lulz Active, which is, well, it is fast but not as stable as the Pegasus one. Uh, you can see CPU frequency is at 1600, GPU is at 640 max, which does make a huge difference. Boifla sound is enabled and this is the other preferences. So yeah, you have all of that. So um, all in all, I will say this again. Archidroid is probably my favorite ROM for S3 period because it gives us so much that you don't need to go to another ROM for a lot of features. So that is pretty damn awesome. So I guess that much is it about the ROM. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.